What's going on guys? Welcome back to our channel. I'm not even gonna say my channel anymore, but yeah, welcome back to our channel. Um, on today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you about the different types of training I've been doing talks in regards to his recall. When I first got him, obviously I was okay with him because he was relatively small, but as he started growing and getting stronger, it was a bit difficult to manage him and keep him under control, especially when my missus was taking him out. There was instances where even myself personally, I struggled to control him because he's very strong now. And at times, um, even the prong collar, well, semi-prong that I used, um, the choke collar, it's not about him correcting himself or trying to keep him under control. My motive was I wanted him to think for himself and I wanted him to stick up my heel when I told him to. And I, when, I, when he was distracted by other dogs or other kids playing or something, I didn't want him to just go and run off. I wanted him to be responsive every time, not responsive as in aggressive, but I wanted him to respond to my commands. When I told him to stay by my heel, I wanted him to stay by my heel. So bear in mind, Tux is not even one years old yet. He's only 11 months. And the fact that I've got him to the stage that I'm putting him at now, which I'm going to show you examples of, I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to be impressed, especially the fact that my first time dog owner, plus I've gone with a Doberman, which is not exactly an easy breed. It's a working dog, which means it requires a lot of work and a lot of effort. Cut a long story short, what I'm trying to get at is, in this video, I'm going to be showing you my experience with using the e-collar and Personally, what I'd advise, which obviously I'm sure some of you subscribers have already seen in a previous video, I mentioned that I didn't want to go with an e collar. I went with a vibration collar at first. Um, and I'm going to compare it to the vibration collar that I use. Well, not exactly do a full on comparison video, but I'm going to highlight a couple of differences that I noticed when I tried using the vibration collar and the way he was behaving and the way the fact that he didn't even come back to me when I was selling him to and my experience with the e collar. Since I've had this e-collar, I'll be honest with you, I've not even had to use the shock more than five times. And I've kept it on the lowest settings. And to be honest with you, before I even got the e-collar, I was completely against it. I thought it was cruel, to be honest with you. But these big dogs, they're made to handle it. They're specifically made for them. And personally, I put my finger on it on the one of the lowest settings and I, I tested it on myself. And what it feels like is, I'm not sure if you guys have been on a trampoline before, but you know when you go on a trampoline and you get that little bit of a static little shock on your finger? It doesn't necessarily hurt, but it's uncomfortable and it feels a bit weird, right? Well, that's what it feels like on one of the lowest settings. And I did that on Tux and obviously he's a dog, he doesn't understand. So to him, it's just uncomfortable and he doesn't like it. So. Um, yeah, so uh, like I said, I've not used it more than five or six times. Now he responds to the beep sound and if worst case scenario, I'll give him a little vibration, which obviously vibration doesn't hurt anyway. But um, ever since then, he's been doing re really well. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of scenarios and different places where he could get easily distracted and how Tux has responded really well to the e-collar. Let's get straight into it. Today's going to be the first time I'm using his e-collar. Um, as you can see, the field is completely empty right now. So if I was to call him over or give him basic instructions, he's going to listen first time anyway. So it's going to defeat the whole purpose of using the e-collar. So I'm going to wait for an opportunity where he might get distracted, i.e. he might be starting to sniff something on the ground and I'm calling him over and he's not listening. So I'll try and use it then. Um, obviously, because there's no other dogs or people here right now, I can't use it under them circumstances, but I'm going to test him out as well. If you, if, if you don't get distracted when I'm calling him over, like, look, now he's getting distracted. Watch. Tux, come on. Ayo. He's not listening. So I'll give him a little beep first. Come here. See, I just had to give him the beep. I didn't even have to give him the vibration. Never mind the shock. He came over. But this is what I'm trying to say to you. If there's distractions, like there's people playing football and he wants to go for the ball or... There's other dogs and he wants to go and play with them. I need to test him under them circumstances. But for today, I'm going to be testing the shock out to see how he responds to it. And obviously, I don't want, to, I don't want him to get scared and uh, respond in the wrong way when we're actually in the deep and when there's something actually going on. Touch, come here. Didn't respond. Warning. That's the beep. Touch, come here. Didn't listen. Vibration. Ayo. Oh, I'll let him off. He's having a poo. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine you're trying to take a shit and then someone's just vibrating the hell out of your neck. She doesn't look impressed with me. <sighs> right, when he finishes, I'll call him over. I think so far it's going to work. Um, basically, this is one of his old toys. 
Um, when he get when he sees this, he gets overwhelmed. I've not been playing with it for ages. When he's seen it now, he just started going all crazy. So um, when I was telling him to leave it, he wasn't doing it. I gave him a little shock, literally on uh, level two, if you can see it. It's not showing properly, sorry. Level two, so obviously it's one of the lowest settings. I gave him a little shock straight away. He dropped it, listened to me. And he came back, watch, leave it. He's not listening. Leave it. Good boy, come here. You see that? And I literally pressed it for two, three seconds, watch. Tux, leave it. One, two, three. Come here, come here. Good boy, you see? So it's worked amazing that, first time. So obviously I'm gonna keep testing it out and then I'll see what it's like under other circumstances as well. Good boy, Tux, sit. Good boy, yes, I'm not even pressing it here, watch. Down, yes, Uba. See, he's got good he's got good obedience anyway and he listens to me quite well. Um, but like I said, I want him to, I want him to be crisp when there's other dogs or other people, and obviously he's going through that phase now. So, to know that teenage phase, so I want him to listen to me when I say it. Look, now he's gone for the toy. I didn't even give him the release command, so I'm going to tell him off. Tux, leave it. Good boy, come here. I'm not pressing at the moment. Bear in mind. Come here. Okay, he's not listening. So I'll give him the beep. Ayo, good boy. So I didn't even have to vibrate him or shock him then. So you see, like a lot of people. Are, like, don't get me wrong, I was one of those people as well. There's a lot of stigma around the e collars and stuff, and you know, there's a big misconception on it's cruel and it's punishment, etc. Look, you've just seen it yourself. I didn't even have to, I didn't even have to shock him then. I gave him a beep, yeah, so the sound. I didn't even have to press the vibrate, and I didn't have to press the shock, so and he listened. Do you understand? It's just the concept of, you know, for the dog, it's the concept of not wanting to get shocked. So, yeah, you got to see it in a positive way, I guess. Yeah, I'm not going to be doing it on, on the regs, obviously. Don't get me wrong, it's my dog in it. So, personally, I, I don't want to keep using that because I don't want to hurt him. I don't want to upset him. I don't want to break that bond. But, yeah, it's working pretty well. Tox, leave it. Leave it. Good boy. Come here. Are you? I said leave it. He didn't listen first time, so I'll vibrate him now. Leave it. Come here. Are you? Are you? Are you? Good boy. Sit. I'm not pressing it. I'm not pressing nothing. I was hovering on the vibrate then. I got him to sit. Oi. Come here. I'm back on vibrate because he's not listening. Come here. Ayo. Good boy. I'll let go of the vibrate. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Uba. Wait there. Stay. Good boy. I'm not pressing anything now. Did you see? All I did then. Literally a couple of a couple of times I had to press the vibrate because he was getting distracted and he wanted his toy. Wait, stay there. Sit. I gave him the beep to warn him. He's gone back to sit because he was getting tempted to move. So yeah, it's working really well this actually so far. Oh god. Right, go, go. There you go. I'll let him go. Do your thing, bro. So I've got Tux off his lead. There's some horses there. I know he's going to get distracted, so I've obviously got his e-collar already. I'm going to obviously try and avoid the shock. I'll give him his warning sound first. Um, obviously, if he doesn't listen, I'll give him his vibration. If he still doesn't listen, I'll give him one little tiny zap with the flow he's setting. As you can see, staying at a horse. Come on. Come on, let's go. I'm surprised he's not done anything. Maybe back. I'm not gonna speak too soon now. I've not even had to press anything yet. Boy talks. Right guys, I've got one scenario here, um, obviously he's got his e-collar on, I'm just going to try and use just the beep to see if he responds to it, if not I'll give him a little vibration, 
So I'm, I got my missus here with the fl uh, flirt pole. She's going to distract him by playing. I'm going to go at a distance and see if he comes back to me when I call him. Let's go. Let's try this out. Yeah. Distract him. Go. Are you ready? Tux! Tux! Aya! Aya! Okay, he's not listening. Aya! Come here! Aya! Tux! Aya! Heel! Come to my heel! Here! Heel! Sit! Good boy! Good boy! And that was just off the beep. I pressed it twice, I didn't even give him a vibration. Well done. Ready? Go. There you go. So that is release command. Let's try again. One more time. Whoa, see that jump? Tux! Aya! Aya! Come here! Tux! Tux! I'm not pressing anything. Come here. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. Wait there. Stay there. Go and distract him. Start wafting it about. Wait. Oi. Uba. Come here. Carry on. You doing that. Tux, come here. Come here. Good boy. Sit. You keep doing that. Distract him. Stay here. Good boy. I'm just staying ready. Wait. Wait, Tux. Wait, Tux. Go. Good boy. Impressive. Right, so I've got my missus on the, on the remote now. Let me see whilst I'm distracting him. Tux. Get it. Come on. What is it? Hila. Okay, Tux. When you're ready. Do it again. Get it, Tux. Top one. Right. She had to um, use the vibration and one shock because he wasn't responding to her. But he went back as soon as she did the little tiny shock on a low setting. So even with her, she was able to, um, you know, like obviously he knows that she's not the main owner. I'm his dad basically. But he still responded to the e collar. All right, let me keep distracting him. When you're ready. Let him release him. Stay there. Stay there. Stay. Woo! Good boy. You see that? I was trying to distract him, but when she gave the release command, that's when he went.
But here's another one. He's going to get distracted by going to Nala, his friend. Tux, come here. Come here. Tux. Come here. It's a couple of beeps. Come here. Stay on my switch. Sit. Good boy, stay. As you can tell, he's itching to go back to her. But he's staying here and that's just off the beep. No, stay. Sit down. Good boy. Leave it, Tox. Hi. Good boy, come on. Tox. Come. Switch. Good boy, stand my switch. Okay, go. Go. Tucks. Come. Switch. Switch. Stay on my switch. I'm not pressing anything here. Okay, go. Good boy. Come here. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, go. Go. Okay, down. Good boy. Stay there. Come here. Come here. Boy, stay on my switch. Switch. Good boy. Hey. Wait. I said switch. Uh -huh.